Hello everyone, here in this video, I am going to show you that how you can add a before after slider in your Shopify store. So this is really simple, you just need to copy and paste the code but before that, you need to follow the steps which I am going to show you in this video. If you are new on this channel then please subscribe this channel, also like this video. So let's get started. So here is the preview of my store. So right now you can see that this is the home page. So we don't have any section right now here on the home page but you should go to the dashboard of the store and here you can see i have installed down theme if you have any other theme then still this feature will work i mean uh, if you have free themes or paid themes then you can implement this uh, feature into uh, those themes as well so firstly you should click on these three dots and duplicate this theme because if you have any problem uh, with the editing then later on you can roll it back to its original version so once you have done the duplication then you should click on edit code and here we have some folders and files so we are going to create a new section which we will be adding on home page or any other page which you like to so uh, i have already given a link below in the description so this is the blog post which i have already written so what you have to do is you need to copy the name of this section which is uh, before dash after so you should go back click on sections click on add a new section and paste the name here and then click on done once it is done then you can actually remove the existing code which is there inside of this section and then after you should copy this complete code and paste it right here and then save the changes once the changes are saved then you can see that uh, we have a lot of code here uh, including the images setting and uh, some additional uh, css so if you want to uh, modify anything you can do it here all right so let's go back to the dashboard again and here you will see that we have to click on customize because we need to create a new section that we have created just now click on customize and now you can scroll it down and in the left hand side you should click on add section and here you will be finding that we have a before after section so you should click on it then after you will have to upload the images so for example i am selecting a specific image here for say example i have this image and after image should be this one and here we go now you can see that we have before after section we have added now you can save the changes and let's see the preview here so scroll it down and down below you will see that we have a before after section right now so we have two images the first one was the before and second one is showing the after uh, after part so that means once we have improved something and then the improved version is on the right hand side so the customers can easily able to compare the previous and uh, the older previous and next uh, version of any product which you have so for say example you are uh, selling any uh, product which is related to medicines or maybe any other uh, one where you wanted to compare the quality so using this slider you can actually compare it so let me see how it looks in the mobile view so here we go in the mobile view you can see that we have something like this so you can move it in the right and left all right completely left or completely right then after we have another uh, way for example i am adding a new section which is uh, before after again so the thing is that firstly we are going to add that uh, before and then after image before after image you need to add and then after we have an option of adding the content so for example i am adding the uh, content here so let me copy some content from here so for say example I am adding this content here and you can see that the content is looking great and you can put the title like for example uh, best car in market in the market so down below there is a small description and you can also uh, display the badge so for example i am saving the changes so right now you can see we have show badge so this is not appearing a good here let me put it here in this uh, uh, first one so show badge so here you can see that the badge is like before and after so if you will see the preview in the front end you will see that it is looking more better now this is before this is after and then we have a content 
and in the left hand side we have the before after image so before it is blur and after it is uh, looking clear all right one more thing is that uh, here we have an option of gray scale so for example i am selecting gray so you can see that this is looking like this so maybe you can refresh it now and here you can see that the gray scale is something like this i mean this is uh, on the left hand side we have black and on the right hand side which is after uh, which is that is that one is clear so before it is gray and after it is very much clear so this section you can actually add it into your store if you have any problem with that you can ask me so one more thing is that if you are going back to any of the product for example i am in this product so in this product if you are interested to uh, put it that you can also do so how you can do that click on add section click on before and after and maybe you can uh, add it just above the related products and let me see for example i am adding the sam image here and then after let me save the changes and before that uh, let me put uh, the badge let's save and let me see this product here we go now you can see that in the product page also i have added this before and after slider so that means in any page you can add this section because this is just a section which you can uh, add in any other page which you wanted to so re recently i added uh, on home page and now i added on product page so if you want you can add it on contact us page or maybe about us page faq track order anywhere else okay so that's how you can implement it into your store. If you have any problem with uh, something, you can ask me directly. You can ask questions below in the comment section and uh, feel free to uh, contact me. I have already given the contact details below in the description. So if you have any new feature to develop, then still you can message me. I will create it for you and uh, you can follow me on Instagram, Facebook and uh, TikTok. And I have also created a WhatsApp group where you can actually uh, join that and I keep pushing more content. I keep upgrading, updating uh, more things and uh, you will get the notification out of that. So thank you once again. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you are new on this channel, then please subscribe this channel. Also like this video. Thank you once again. See you in the next video.